The younger brother got peanut butter stuck in his throat. The older brother extended his hand, attempting to remove it, but the substance was too sticky and became lodged deep in the airway, making it difficult to extract. They called 911, and the operator guided them on how to self-rescue. The older brother struggled to stand and moved toward a table in the distance. However, as he made his way, his younger brother, who had been deprived of oxygen for a long time, fainted. The older brother also collapsed on the ground and couldn't move. The golden rescue window was just three short minutes. The operator quickly came up with a plan, instructing the older brother to fetch the vacuum cleaner from their home. The older brother laboriously made his way to the wall, then followed the instructions and inserted the vacuum nozzle into his younger brother's mouth. With the vacuum cleaner's full power, the peanut butter that had been blocking the airway was finally sucked out. I think it worked! I think he's breathing! <coughs> Are we talking again? The man was sunbathing and got struck by lightning. Blood gushed out from the sand. Just a while ago, his obedient son, while his father was sleeping, conspired with his mother to dig a hole and bury the father. Both of them looked quite pleased, even splashing a bucket of cold water on him. Suddenly, a lightning bolt struck. When they realized what had happened, they found the sand on the father's body had miraculously turned into glass due to the high temperature, and more blood gushed out. Firefighters quickly arrived, carefully chipping away at the glass and moving it. However, as they removed the surface sand, they discovered a piece of glass had pierced the man's carotid artery, and the high temperature at the time had caused the wound to quickly scab over. So, they proceeded to bandage the man's wound while continuing to dig out the sand. The man was eventually dug out and taken to the hospital. The mother and son heaved a sigh of relief, realizing they would probably never play with sand again. The guy hoisted his girlfriend onto the balcony railing. Right when things were getting interesting, suddenly, she took an unexpected nosedive. Lucky for her, there was an ad billboard waiting to catch her. The cavalry rolled in. It was clear that the woman was in a bit of a pickle. She was perched so high that even the fire ladder seemed like it had stage fright. So, they decided to split into two teams. One team plotted their way beneath the damsel in distress. Thinking they'd MacGyver a rescue through a window, the other team was all in for an action movie moment. Planning to skydive from the roof, but one of the firefighters with a distracted mind noticed the billboard's rope was about as sturdy as a wet noodle. The situation turned into a get your act together, folks, kind of moment. The woman couldn't keep still, just as the guy was about to toss safety gear her way. The rope finally surrendered. The woman clung to her rescuer as if he were the last slice of pizza at a party. She could hardly believe her luck. I don't know how you guys just did that. Dumb luck. <laughs> The man, in his quest for more followers, decided to stick himself to a billboard and slap a QR code right beside him. When the firefighters rushed to the scene, they set up a ladder, ready to play the heroes. The guy proudly declared he had forked out a small fortune to rent this prime advertising space for a whole 25-hour day, and he wasn't budging until the very last second. Check that in story. Looks like he's telling the truth. He paid for the spot. A policewoman casually confirms the guy's claim, but, in a twist of fate, the firefighters, in their haste to save the day and avoid any unpleasant splats on expensive concrete below, quickly rolled out inflatable cushions, and then, within moments, the guy's glue started giving way. One eager firefighter scurried up the ladder for the daring rescue, too little, too late. In the blink of an eye, he stood there, stark naked, and the crowd couldn't help but exclaim, My eyes! In the wee hours, at 1.30 a.m., a man pushed his wife into the fire station with an extraordinary claim. He insisted she could only stay upside down, as her heart would go on an unscheduled break if they dared to turn her right side up. The firefighters, with eyebrows raised, checked her blood pressure and pulse, only to find everything shipshape. They even considered if it was some kind of bizarre prank. The man then shared a peculiar story. They were peacefully practicing yoga at home when his wife's heart decided to clock out unexpectedly. CPR was a no-go, but here's the kicker, her heart only started beating again when she went topsy-turvy. So, his wife had become a pro at dying multiple times at home lately. The woman wondered if it had something to do with her pacemaker. The firefighters quickly played detective and hit the jackpot. It was a wiring issue with the pacemaker. Now, the only way to save the day was to rush her to the hospital. But how on earth do you transport an upside-down woman to the ER? Guy gets slurped up into an airplane turbine. Guess what? 
He's still alive. Just a moment ago, two blackies were playing luggage. Mr. Big Beard desperately needed the bathroom, so he goes rogue, snatches the bags and stuffs one right into the driver's seat. He even hits the gas pedal by mistake, and off goes the luggage cart on a wild joyride. Meanwhile, our man is playing traffic cop for the airplane, but he gets steamrolled by this rampaging cart. The cart goes all NASCAR on them. Big Beard flips the cart like a boss, and is about to break into a victory dance, but he gets pulled into the airplane turbine. Firefighters rush to the scene. The captain figures our guy is toast, but surprise, the dude twitches a toe. The captain panics and orders a full-on rescue mission. They pop the hood, dismantle the fan blades, only to find them warped out of shape. While our guy's sitting there, alive and kicking, with nothing more than a few bumps and bruises, turns out, it was pool cues that gave our hero a shot at life. This guy messes up with a gift. His girlfriend disassembles him into eight pieces and then glue him back together. This spectacle leaves a lady cop completely gobsmacked. Just a while ago, the hot girl opens the gift her boyfriend gave her. She's thinking it's a ring, a necklace, something special. But nope, it's chocolate. Her face goes from happy anticipation to seriously. In seconds, she grills her guy, asking why he didn't get her a ring. His comeback? Are you nuts? Who buys a ring for someone they just met? Cue instant fury from the lady. She spent the whole day dolling up for their date. Whipped up a feast. All she gets is a box of bargain chocolate? The guy shows whatever. He then stands up, about to bail, saying he's got more dates lined up and she's just one on his list. Total facial gymnastics from the woman. Then, the neighbor calls the cops, complaining about the ruckus next door, facing the lady officer's questions. The woman explains about the argument with her boyfriend who's already vamoosed. The cop decides to step inside and see what's up. But then, the woman pops up, brandishing a gun, and plays not tying with our heroine. Meanwhile, there's this chorus of distress from the sidelines. Turns out, the man's second date also got roped into this mess. The female cop tries her best to talk some sense into this nutty lady but reasoning wasn't in her skill set. So, while the officer skillfully changes topics, she's also ninja and her way out of those ties. Then, just as this loony lady makes a move, the officer breaks free, grabs a nearby bottle, and takes a swing. Just in the nick of time, the man Man's third date comes dashing in. It's like this lady wanted to multitask her mayhem. If it weren't for our cops stumbling in, who knows what chaos would have unfolded. In the mortuary, a forensic examiner was all set to dive into an autopsy when the supposedly deceased person suddenly twitched. He put a hand on the examiner. Then, with a big gasp, this corpse sprang back to life. The examiner fainted like a Victorian damsel, causing the electric saw they were holding to make an unwanted cameo, giving his thigh an impromptu slice. The guy dialed 911. 911, what's your emergency? The rescue squad came zooming in to save the day. Upon checkup, they found the examiner's cut, although a bit deep, hadn't hit any major blood vessels. But how on earth did this guy manage a Lazarus act? Turns out, he's got a serious case of napolepsy, where he goes full on Rip Van Winkle and takes power naps that make him look like a one-man zombie squad. This was his third walk on the sleep-deprived side.